I ain't never skipped a beat or a bag. I always had the juice, but now I got the peach. I keep you on the edges of your seat. Spring, summer, or September, I'm the one you always remember. You're always living in the moment when you are the moment. I may be a rookie, but this isn't my first race. Scene five, guys. Okay, so Candy has ordered a sprinter because, look, Candy don't have time. We're not doing a NeNe leaks. Okay, huh. everybody want to be showing up late, but you know what? Nene got them a sprinter then. Let me show you, look. Jesus Christ, it don't surprise me. I mean, Candy really probably should change her name to Freak Candy Burst. That's just her thing. My thing is shopping. Her thing is sex. And they still showed up Oh, yeah, late she did. She had them her house. in Las Vegas or, or something. They came from Las Vegas to but that's Los what Angeles. Fucked up at. Nene should have rolled in the sprinter with them me, and brought them to her home. Candy was smart about it. Candy said, I'll be damned. I don't want to hear no, I missed the flight. These ladies are late for everything. So I've arranged for everybody to get together and ride together to the airport in the Sprinter so that we can get there on time and nobody is going to miss the plane, OK? But you, it's kind of like she forced them because let them lie. Let whoever say they missed the flight miss then the flight. Then at least you know who for real and who ain't. But that's another thing. Speaking, that goes back to the play. Candy, I believe Candy was an investor in this stage play. So, like she said, her job is to get asses in seats. Right. That's her job, to get asses in seats. She paid for it, and she has to get asses in seats, right? So, um, that's why she wants all these ladies to come, because any seat that's open could be taken by someone else. She wants it to say that she paid for all these seats for all her ladies. You know what I'm saying? Right. Candy made a lot of money from this shit, and she's going to make a lot more. Uh, but Candy goes to go pick up all the ladies personally, herself, with Todd in the car, not feeling it. He's clearly early in the morning, and he is not, not feeling this. No, um, but it's early in the morning. I wish he had them gym shorts on then. Really? <laughs> I'm just being for real. So she go pick up Drew first, and then she go pick up Sanya. And um, Drew and Sanya both have their partner. Unfortunately, Kenya gets on the bus third or second, second or third, something like that. And she is shocked that um, this is a couple strip. Uh, acting as if no one gave her the memo that this was a couple strip. Thank you. Hi. Hey. I didn't know this was a couple's trip. Well, Nobody told it's me. It's everybody's trip. Everybody. Oh, really? <laughs> when we, we flash back to it, we notice that, in fact, she was informed. Candy at least mentioned the fact that, right, you can bring a, a date. couple trip. Where's the memo about this being a couple's trip? Is it a girl's trip or are we bringing? Well, if you got a date, bring them. We can bring our husband. I'm not able to bring a date. I think that's something that she should have told me being a single person. Yes, Candy did that, let everybody know that this was a couple's trip and you can bring a date if you have a date. The problem is that this bitch ain't had nobody to bring. So that now she's bitter. Yeah. That was the and problem. And you can bring a date, but you can find one. You can hire one. Right. That was the biggest problem. That she could not find a date. So um, that was that was why she was mostly upset. So anyway, um, Candy, Sheree gets on the bus, and I guess it made Kenya feel a little better because Sheree doesn't have a partner. But um, okay. you need to stop playing. But when Marlo got on the bus, the way Kenya Moore looked her up and down. Good morning. Okay, Marlo. It was so sad. It was like, ugh, Kenya, <laughs> in the morning, Kenya be having bad mornings. I hate for her to be my mama because she looked like she had some bad-ass mornings. The way she looked at um, Kenya up and uh, Marlo up and down, and then she is aggravated that it's a couple's thing. Right. Like, oh, God. It's morning time. Kenya is more of a bitch than she is in the daytime, honey. She's a witch. Can we do a poll? Like, men wake up in the morning, and they dick be hard. So, like, do girls wake up in the morning, and they oceans be flowing? Maybe so. Like, do they rivers be waning? Because I'm just trying to figure out, <laughs> like, because Kenya might not be getting none. Or she ain't getting none. So right. she might be, you know, might be a little off off because because she got to deal with that baby every day and she ain't got no dick. Right. 
Sheree gets on the bus and she's kind of um, not feeling being on the bus or going on a trip with Drew and her husband, but she really got it twisted. This is a Housewives of Atlanta show and she is a castmate, so you will be seeing her. I don't know what the hell Drew started. thought, honey. She was just ready to, um, I guess she I, she didn't think that they was all going to be in there for real. I guess she thought that Marlo wasn't going to show up and that Sheree wasn't going to show up either. Um, Sheree uh, ends up, well, First of all, Candy announces that they're going to go to the New Jersey apartment. I thought that that was very, like, <laughs> shady. And she was throwing she shade at it. Right, because she's trying to figure... The thing is, they're trying to do a poll. Why are we even going to this apartment Because anyway. they're trying to do a poll. They trying to, Candy is trying to figure out how many of y'all going to be on his side, how many of y'all going to be on my side, because it's always a competition with Leo and Taurus, okay? Taurus are very competitive, and Leos are very competitive as well. Marlo so, is going to be on anybody man's side. You gotta be, you gotta be careful, Kenya Marlo. Too, bitch. Kenya, Kenya, and Marlo—they gonna always. Well, take, not well, always. Not Kenya, not not Kenya. Always, but Marlo, yeah. Marlo always take the side of the man. She always want to be. I, I don't remember a time, but I know that she's quick to tell Nene, and I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if we could find a time where she has told Nene to settle down about Greg. Really, bitch. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure y'all stay together, Dennis. If anybody stands for Dennis, Marlo is a stand for Dennis. How you like Dennis? I don't like Dennis. I love you Dennis. You love Dennis? I, lo I don't know what's your breaking point. I'm freaking out. Marlo, support me, bitch. Don't be fighting with me. I'm going through everything. You're not the only person hurting. Greg's hurting. Greg's hurting. So you better believe Marlo gonna always, and I wouldn't be surprised if she done took Mark Daly's side about some shit before. I'm gonna go check on Brooklyn. Okay. And, and you wonder why you're single and paying child support. Baby daddy going to baby less, less than a year old. So Candy and Marlo doing this poll and, and you trying to get some suggestions, I guarantee you Marlo is always gonna take the side of somebody else's husband because she ain't got one. I don't know why the hell Marlo always do that. She always take the husband side over the castmate. Uh, but I don't know. Child, them oceans dried right up now. long ago. They done left a pillow of salt. Right. But she's salty. Um, so, so like I said, Candy was being funny about the New Jersey apartment. I'm not understanding why. Uh, Sheree gets on the bus. She's not feeling Drew Sidora them being there. She actually said in her confessional that she has receipts if Drew Sidora them get stupid. Me, Ross. Aaron, nice to meet you. I'm feeling a little awkward traveling with Drew and Ralph, but if they do misbehave, I got receipts. That bitch is whack. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what kind of receipts do she have, and I'm pretty sure this situation will be coming up later on in the show, um, or later on in this season, uh, her with these receipts. Cause you know what receipts I want. Bitch. I want to know what scavenger hunt. Uh, right. Come on now. Now, that's number, that's number one. <laughs> we have to give us an outline, bitch, if we can't have the whole picture. But number two is, I want to know what damn scavenger hunt Thelma ass was on <laughs> when she was lost in the sauce, bitch, and Sheree up here worried about everybody else's business. Let's talk about why we ain't talked about that yet. That They're was on the news. Up. They're going to bring it up. They're going to bring it up about Sheree mom being missing. That is going to eventually come up. And Sheree is going to eventually say why her mother is at her mom, I mean, at her house. She just said her mom was at her house or living with her. Or something yeah, she like was that. living with her because she walked right up in the kitchen when they was, um... Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna end up coming out, and I think something is going on with her mom. Her mom is giving me kid like brain or something. Like she's going through something that's causing her to act like a kid or be kid like. Hey, hey, Kenya's coming over. You met her before. Yeah. Does she eat sweets? I don't know. The bitch skinny as hell right now. <laughs> she may not be eating nothing. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. Maybe I'm just seeing shit or judging this whole situation wrong. Uh, but. Uh, one of these moments that the camera they have these cameras situated so weirdly on this bus at one of these moments we see the last three two or three digits of todd's password um while the camera is directly behind him i'm like really bravo y'all just let that happen so todd people i'm sure candy, candy got the whole people, password i hope y'all realize that that two or three of his numbers were shown on the show well it's six uh -huh. digits now so it ain't like his phone no more right so they finally arrive here in new york um to the hotel right down to the hotel child i want to know who this concierge is at the front desk right and um it seemed like they might have got on a private jet or something because they got there still when it was morning time no nah, they flew commercial like they got there still while it was morning early in the morning early so like how long is that flight they got there pretty fast but candy love food y'all already know candy love food i do not know if we're gonna be able to find a compilation of candy loving food okay i don't know if we're gonna be able to find the times where candy has talked about how much she loves food 
So don't be. You mean how this. many times we can talk about how how much Candy love food? I'm just because saying we she always play playbacks, playbacks. So I don't know. Well, what I got one, playbacks. two, or three in specific, but it's okay. You call me a hoe? Yeah, let, when let me everybody talk knows. About it. It. Uh -huh. I think it was supposed to be a nine, and it's eleven. Hello. Hey. Uh, I don't think you guys need to call Cynthia to keep it moving. It's after eleven o'clock, and I'm not interested in having any kids. But I thank you and good night. Did she just hang up on you? It's going on midnight. So good night, and that's four, three, yo. You can't even get a to-go place. No, bitch. I yeah. sure wish we could just get us a little box to go or something. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I go to the house, they ain't got no drink, no soda, no we nothing. But you gonna show up at midnight and really think you're gonna use one of these forks to put down your throat? No, no, no. Go eat the nail polish off of your nails. Maybe we can look in the windows. They show sure are enjoying oh, that, that food over right there. there. You can at least feed us. We came all the way out here to see you. Ow. Oh, oh, thank I you. sure oh, is. Oh, is this good? Oh, cheese is good. Did you put some dessert on there? <laughs> no, he didn't put no dessert on it. I am sick of this. Stop me by pinkies. They give me a chili dog. Or I'm not the nicest person when I'm hungry, OK? So I was like, oh, he going to bring us out some of fruity cheese and some olives. Oh, no. I can do pinkies, I can do fat burger. You won't? You want it? I can do it the Okay, see? At least we can come together on something tonight. See, now I get a little food in my system. See, this is when my second wind come in. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you got to feed that one. You don't feed me? I'm tired, honey. I'm growling at your ass. Hi, Candy. Yeah. Um, she is not come here. Hey. Oh, oh, you look pretty. You got the little pregnancy glow. You know I'm already hungry. Uh, <laughs> you call me a hoe. Yeah, let, when let everybody me talk knows about that you're my, What are y'all doing? Y'all really? we sitting here trying to talk. I'm sorry. Wait, you hear me? <laughs> I mean, come on. They were irritating me with all the <laughs> So yes, I was eating. It makes me feel better. Hi. Oh. Now I'm already a I'm good with trying something new when I'm not starving. Okay. I'm hungry. Oh, this looks amazing. We have some chopsticks. Nene, what you say? I had to have food, right? I don't know what this is. I gotta have me some. Where this is? Let me see what it is. When you give me a menu and it started out with charcoal salmon tartar, that's a nar nar. I'm letting y'all know now. Y'all cannot feed this to me and then talking about y'all already ate lunch because I'm gonna have to eat. I'm gonna have to order something else after I leave here. Did y'all get us something to eat? Candy's hungry. He's about to go left. Y'all gotta get us some food. Yes, I'm like over it. As requested, you're in the penthouse, and we have the food arrangement set for you, okay? Oh, good. Thank you, because we are hungry. Ooh, the food is here. Yes. Welcome. I'm hungry, y'all. So I'm eating this food. Oh That's God. what I'm doing. Um, but when she walked in this restaurant, she said, look, y'all know I love me some food. I'm mm -hmm. going to eat. <laughs> She'll give a fuck. Goddamn bagels, dry foot, been sitting here for goddamn hours. Right. Candy said, I'm going to eat it. I don't give a damn. Y'all ain't changed the bagels out yet since yesterday morning. Can I have one still? Uh, don't yeah. do her. No, she do not, bitch. So um, they're all out here early in the morning. Kenya Moore and Sheree Whitfield, y'all are old, baby. Y'all skin and everything is showing, okay? Y'all complexion, y'all skin, everything is really, truly showing um, right here in this uh, um moment sitting outside under this type of lighting under this sun coming up bitch sheree makeup coming off i know y'all just got off the plane bitch y'all looking a mess um but they're getting each other business they're trying to find it was out only two hours damn what did y'all do i don't know but sheree skin looking i mean sheree face looking bad they look like they might have put something over their face and the makeup look like it's doing it running down especially sheree sheree face looks a mess i don't uh! know what happened she sweated that shit out uh, but Kenya Moore and Sheree are getting in each other's business. I think Sheree might have asked Kenya Moore if Mark was coming. Maybe not. If she was going to go try to see Mark while she was there or something like that. And um, Kenya said, are you going to try to see Tyrone? And actually she said, yeah. So Tyrone may make an appearance coming up really soon. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But Sheree said that Tyrone was going to try to come. Yeah. I know she said that earlier in the episode too. To Marlo them, right? Yeah. And now she's saying it again. Yes, Drew, new look. Giving Marvel superhero. With this boost, oh gate. yes, oh she yes, she was giving superhero. Oh yes, Drew did that. He did that. So as you guys know, it's always a game for the best room. It's never just, 
You know, the person who booked the trip get the best. Right, they had to eat the nasty shit and all that stuff and right. the deals for the shit. Exactly. What's the deal with the room situation? How we doing these rooms? Oh, the room. Why is there always a room situation? No, it's a shady component. Oh, no. What? Like, just give us a nice room and let that be that. We always gotta like fight. Okay, are y'all ready? Yeah. This first one is Candy's idea. It's a mystery win. So I'm just gonna put it out there. Whoever wants to volunteer first. Me. But what is it? You just have to do the dishes tonight. Oh. <laughs> so you have the third best room. Okay, there's different items in each bowl. We want you to eat one piece of each thing in each bowl. We've got raw octopus, smelly sardines. Okay, ready, set, go. go. Our next challenge is whoever can take their makeup off, including lashes, wins. I can do it. Hard. <laughs> Here's one. Jeannie got this. Here's two. If someone wants to jump in, in the pool, pool, right now, whoever goes and jumps in the pool can take somebody else's room. Are you crazy? Ah! <laughs> Her Portia is crazy. So they're playing a game. They have to tell the craziest sex story that they, you know, the craziest place that I guess that they had sex at. Um, and Aaron and and Sanya revealed that they're part of the Mile High Club. I kind of got sidetracked because I'm like, hold on, did y'all fuck on the plane on the way here? Is that what y'all trying she to say? She said on the way to Dubai. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, I missed that part. See what I'm saying? Because I'm like, what? Did y'all fuck on the way here? Uh, Marlo gave us some stupid ass shit that. She fucked up. Marlo the and Kenya both was giraffe. a goddamn lie. Yeah, they both gave a weird ass story. And Kenya is such a copycat. She copied right the fuck off of her and brought up animals, but she had to be so oh specific my God. and like, dramatic about her damn story. Blood and, Girl, she had a coyotes and shit. We go in the cavern and all and this she stuff. She laughed and stop. saying this is a what true story. What Zane book did you read this out of? So, uh, we got a little competition for penthouse level. We want to know who had the best sex story. So I met this guy, I really liked him, but he was into hunting. So he like tagged one, but it wasn't actually dead. So we had to follow the trail of blood. And then we started having sex in the cavern. And then we realized, we heard a noise, and the thing was still alive. Just give it a room, just give it a room, give it a room. And your story is some bullshit. Who the <laughs> having sex with coyotes? <laughs> story I said. Candy Confessional says she is full of shit. Even Todd was fighting with Candy like, no. No, don't give her this damn key card. I said, Candy, your decision was kind of biased, I feel like. Your, your decision was a bit biased. She wanted to give it to Kenya Moore anyway. She loved Kenya Moore. She always feeling bad for Kenya Moore. That's typical. <laughs> Who was this wonderful person that was given a fashion show with no fashions? How dreadful. <laughs> huh? Shrimp and chicken? Oh, wow. You stayed to the very end, I see. Well, since you're here, um, do me a favor. Hit those big words down there. Subscribe. You see that? Yeah. And if you liked the video or if you didn't like the video, hit that thumbs up. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified every time we go live or post a video. You don't want to miss our content.
I'm telling you. You can also follow us on all social media platforms. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a new one, Big O, at The Urban Binge, okay? You can also Google search our podcast. If you can't get enough of us, we're always posting on our podcast talking about interesting topics. Just search The Urban Binge Radio Podcast. And you can find us on several podcast platforms, i.e. iHeart, Spotify, and any podcast platform that you prefer. And after you're done with all of that, scroll down our channel and I'm sure you'll find a lot more interesting content like this video. See you guys later. Let me finish getting dressed.